Not so fast, Roach. Halt! Standing Jew! I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor Maid Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste, for I have knights in hand left after you. Hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the Maid Bilberry. Well... Why... Um... Then swear. Swear! Maid Bilberry's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah! I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend! Stand and fight! <laughs> I yield. Had enough? Yes. Luck stood with you. But but the next time we meet. Challenge me again. Raise your hand. Draw your sword. Look at me the wrong way. And I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see.
Come on. Cocky, her. Man Lost her sister, then her sister's man. Parents died long past. Well to go. Be better go off elsewhere. Find joy. Baron like a new daughter. Got a few I can spare. Oh, you've got a son. Can this be the witch man. Great nature. <laughs> More interesting things from my That's it, Roach. Come on, Roach.
What now, you piece of filth? Slow now. Faster. Hey there. What do you think, you vagrant? What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. What do you want from him? To give him what he deserves. And that is? He done conjured Algaris. Said something evil had made its nest in Edric's bowels. Told Edric to eat rowan berries. Lots of them. Ever since Edric's lived in the outhouse. And he's got hardened postures all over him. Just so happens I need the Peller alive. So if you agree to leave him alone, for good, I'm willing to tell you how to help Edric. Hmm. Well, all in all... Yes or no? Fine. Let's hear it. A tea of mullein leaves for his belly, and cover his boils with mallow. A few days and he'll be good as new. Noted. But if it don't work, we'll be back. Move out, boys. Scabies. Hmm. Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. Expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this. Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanted to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay. No, nay, Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess, 
None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing! She loves it! Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. This way, I think.
another clue. Good. This way, I think. There you are. Here, goat. Here, princess. and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. All right, time to try the bell. Come on, let's go see the peller. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Come on, take you back to the peller. Misses you something awful. you go. Bear! Bear! Run, you stupid piece of shit! really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow.
You're no roach, but I bet we can be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Princess, flee not from the pillar for there are wolves about. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. Happy for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The white wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood, a living being. Fine, be right back. It's over? Is that it? That is it. Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, an augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm, Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. What happened to the child? In a grave throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Archlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. 
Blood will always find kindred blood. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year. But we'll find a way all the same. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming. That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. 